24-14, UC Davis with the lead, but North Dakota State starting to make things interesting, getting their offense going. Well, their offense finally showing up. You see, this is the double pass here. Steffes, Whew, that one was almost dropped. Coach is getting nervous up there. And then the deep ball. Heckendorf just out in front of Bergen there. Got the touchdown at the end. Steve Walker delivered a nice, but slowed the back down just enough. Second and 13 for North Dakota State. Walker throwing it deep, and it is intercepted. Run, not very accurate. Yeah, Wurzbacher at 6'5", was definitely behind Barcy. Nolan with a tough run to the 30-yard line. North Dakota State has some guys that can definitely play run defense. That time, Craig Dahl comes up and makes the hit. out the last couple of possessions. Defensive line turning up the heat. Again, we talked about it earlier. You control the game in the trenches. The big boys dictate the tempo of the game, and those two are pretty good right there. That's Frick and Fairburn. Fairburn, actually, a big guy, 300 pounds. He is an accomplished singer. He majors in music appreciation, which is something interesting for a defensive lineman, but they wanted him to come out and sing the national anthem before 640. He straight stayed right with Travis White on that play. Walker looking for him again. This time it's complete and a big hit. Evero definitely making White feel that one as he pops him at the 43 in the football game now. North Dakota State trying to keep the chains moving. Here's Steffes. Hurdles over one man, gets to the 35-yard line. Ends up landing right in the arms of Amaral. Sometimes as a running back, when you leave your feet like that, it's tough because you know when you come down, you're not going to have any leverage, but you're going to have defenders looking to take your head off. Lewis Amaral has played well for UC Davis all day, under 11 minutes to go now. UC Davis trying to hang on. They led 24-0 at the half. The lead is cut to 24 14 in the third quarter. We're now in the fourth quarter at Toomey Field. Steffes straight ahead and gets to the 25 yard line. A 10 yard run for Steffes again. Work in the middle, and he gets to the 20 yard line. That's a pickup of six more yards running right behind their center, Zach Harrington. Still a lot of time left in this football game. This time it is straight ahead to Blinko, and he dives down inside the 10 yard line. Pete Blinko. I was starting to talk about Zach Harrington. He, he just mauls people. He is a masher inside. He had a great game versus Minnesota. They said that he put the nose guard from Minnesota on his back almost 10 times during that game. Just kept crushing opponents. 6'2, 291, just a sophomore but a real football player on that interior line. Definitely a North Dakota kind of guy. Here's Blinko again, right behind the big center again, and he gets close to the five-yard line. They'll spot it at front. the six. Linebackers, you got to make big plays down here. That huge goal line stand, as you alluded to, Dave, in the first half. They need to come up big right now for the Aggies because it's starting to get, become nail-biting time. Shades of last week all over again. Yeah, you know that is in the back of everybody's mind as Steffes takes this one straight ahead near the end zone, reaches across, and he's in. A touchdown for North Get Dakota the State. Back. They led 24-0 at the half. It's 24-21. Grant on a draw. Slides through for a couple of yards, and that is all. Dahl coming up and making the hit. As you watch this game here in the second half, you feel like there's more white jerseys on the field. There's more guys out there for North Dakota State because they seem to be everywhere that UC Davis wants to put the football right now. In the first half, they came out playing a lot of man coverage. They, they, they really kind of sold up their DBs on the good receiving core from UC Davis. Here in the second half, they've gone to that true two Tampa look more often, and they've really stymied this offense for Davis. Three receivers to the far side for Grant. Has time, dumps it incomplete, and another big hit for North Dakota State as Humber absolutely smothers Cale Turner. And you have to come up with that catch. They are four of ten on the day. Grant to Kays, but I don't think he got the first down. They'll spot it at the 35 and a half. No, they're going to call it incomplete. It's the wow. second catch in a row, apparently by Kays that has been called incomplete. Extremely questionable. The one earlier in the game clearly was a catch. This one, uh, to me in the booth, it looked like a catch. 
So you see just a sit down route versus zone. He's clearly got that ball. I mean, he fumbled it at the end, but that's a catch. He had that ball. He had control, got both feet down. That's two very bad calls, rulings on catches. He's got it. He had it He put in both hands. It was fully under control. It was a fumble at the end, but it wasn't an incomplete pass. Hey, on sportsmanlike conduct, number six, defense. First down. Oh goodness. An unsportsmanlike conduct call against Richard Bowman of North Dakota. A long way away to make that play. Chris Carter, who runs a 4 4 6 40. And now it is third and seven for UC Davis. Another big third down play. Kays bobbles. Does he have it this time? And will they give him the catch? Yes, at the 44 yard line. First down, UC Four Davis. Minutes to go. From the North Dakota State 44 yard line, UC Davis trying to hang on for dear life. Not much on this one as North Dakota State in the middle. Joe Mays right there with the hit. 52 to go here in this football game. It's 24 21 Aggies. Well, Marcus Nolan left the field under some help and then an interception by Grant Craig Dahl coming up with the deep interception. We're going to show it to you right now as North Dakota State gets their offense back on the field with just over two minutes to play. Well, we were off at commercial. Grant scrambling for his life back there. Throws an ill-advised pass downfield. And Craig Dahl, even with the cast on the right hand, making the big interception. Management becomes all important here. Walker to fire, nice defensive play, stepping in front of it, Nevin Bergen, and he taps it to the ground. And they're going to give him pass interference. Oh Bergen, my goodness, the marker. This is the back arm syndrome. By D. Well, here's your ball game, fourth and 12 from the 41 yard line. Ski Walker with two receivers to the near side. Pressure up the middle. Throws it close to the first down. Will they give it to him? Heckendorf came down with it. They give him a great spot, and he has the first down at the 46 of UC Davis. He did catch that past the first down marker. They gave him a better spot than where he actually landed, but he definitely had the first down. He got the chains. Very smart play by a wide receiver. To no fourth more down again. They're one of two on fourth down today. They'll try and keep their hopes alive for the miracle comeback. Walker stepping up, firing down the middle, complete. Majeski has it at the 23-yard line. First down, North Dakota State. 30 seconds to Majeski out to the near side for North Dakota State. Jeremy Scott now in on defense for UC Davis, guarding Majeski. The ball goes the other way to Heckendorf, and Heckendorf has it at the nine-yard line. Another big throw and a first down with 18 seconds to go. 10 seconds remaining. Walker directing traffic. Into the end zone. Majeski has it. Touchdown, North Dakota State. Four seconds remaining. And for the first time today, North Dakota State has the lead. The football is loose. North Dakota State has it. It will not matter. The football game is over, and North Dakota State wins it 28-24 with an unbelievable comeback in the second half.